more bear traps right there. No thank you. This planet isn't as untouched as I thought. I need to report back. I need to record this. Wilson, what? record. Wilson. This is Octavia Sken, environmental analyst with the Solus 3 detachment on Glier 6143C. Once in orbit around the planet, our ship collided with an unidentified object. I think I might be the only survivor. I landed on an archipelago. Lots what? of rock and tough flora. As far as the eye can see is shimmering ocean. The atmosphere seems habitable, but it might be volatile. I'll keep gathering data. I just followed a strange sound after the crash, which led me into a series of caves. And there's more than just geology and dripping water down here. There are signs of civilization. Life. Carvings, mechanisms, buildings. We are not the first beings here. I found a skeleton. A humanoid skeleton. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize that was a human skeleton. Skull. I don't know what to make of it. Its skeletal or structure human is so type similar skeleton. to ours. I need to keep going. I'll see if I can find a way to link with the satellite and submit my data. Scan out. I'm telling you, man, this is like a prequel to Prometheus, which is just a Prome or what? English. Okay. <laughs> Telling you, this is just a prequel to Prometheus, which is just a prequel to Aliens. There we go. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Okay, I should probably eat. I feel like I'm missing a bunch of stuff. Oh! Whoa! Really, guys? More spikes gonna come down. I knew it was a good idea to just sprint through that. <laughs> I knew that was gonna be a good idea. If I didn't do that, I would have died. Oh. Yo, dude, that was like. Like. One of our crew members was just screaming, and we're gonna go over there towards where he was screaming. All right, okay, good stuff, man. Good stuff. I want to burn this and then sleep. Sleep not advised. Oh. Really? What about right here? There we go. I just want to get a save point. After those spikes. So in case I die, I'm not to run through those spikes again. Love how we're just going to go towards the scream. Towards the screaming. Leaving area zero tower parts and seven secrets. Nah. Uh, I don't care about the secrets. Woohoo, more loading screens. Good stuff. Good stuff. I don't know why it takes so long to vote or to vote to load. My mind's all, all over the place, I can't say the right words. day now. That'd be cool. <laughs> the 
graphics look so bad on the loading screen. I don't get it. Like the grass. Especially the grass. Looks terrible. Um, did my game crash? No? We're good? Yeah. Alright. Frames? Hello? It's like 10 FPS right now. God, why are the frames so bad? This is the worst it's been all game. Whoa, we're back outside? What? Crossing of roads. Follow the path and find out where it goes. Inspect the second escape pod crash site. Um, it's an empty bottle. I drop that for now. Wait, what does this say? Oh, milestone one of two. Okay, so there's only two for this part of the quest. It's like snow and stuff. Barsa's account, one of six. Tales from our elders' tongues speak of working the land high above the sea, sleeping beneath the sun and stars, but Utuku and the line withdraw beneath the surface to the domain of the sky ones. It's like a tree. I feel like we're on Earth. Okay, the frames are getting better. Which is good. What are those? I don't know why those circles were there. There's another one over there. Yuri's Crash Diary, one of 16. All those years we spent traveling, getting to know each other, researching, all that hope vanished as the ship went up in flames. I don't know what happened. All I know is that everything's lost. Maria, it was for nothing. I should have called you. Hey, man. You don't know that, Yuri. I've never felt so alone in my life. I keep wandering around on this strange island, asking myself if I should try to find everyone. They deserve some sort of memorial. Half of them are probably in the sea. Hey, well, I'm not. Not sure what good it, it will do, but I'll try to establish a comms link with Profus. The satellite probe in orbit can serve as a communication relay, but I'll have to scavenge some parts so I can send a signal from the surface. I wonder how the other ships fared. Not so well, man. Selected a site on top of the hill for the communication tower, a good landmark. Perhaps if someone's still alive, they'll notice it up there. If my arm wasn't broken, this would all be easier. I think the wound on my stomach is also becoming infected. I'm jealous of the rest of the crew, the now dead crew, huh? At least they didn't have to die alone to witness all of this. Maria deserves to know what happened. I suppose everyone does, so I'll keep trying. Where's Maria? I've scavenged most parts of the ship from this island, but I haven't found any bodies. I know that they're all dead, yet there isn't a single corpse. Where are they? I thought the module Amon and Fred were in came down intact, too. Amon and Fred, why do those names sound familiar? Collected all the basic components to start on the communication tower. My main goal is to let the people of the Prolis colony know what happened. I've had a fire going on these last days to signal to anyone still alive. Maybe they're on other islands. How long has it been? One. Oh, it's been three days. Oh, what is that? Oh, glow stick. Should I pick up the beacon? I already have one. I don't know if I should. I'm 
do it, I guess. Oh my god. Of course it wasn't going to be that easy. Tried sending a basic emergency message, but the signal was too weak. I jumped the gun. Need to find better, proper parts so that I can boost the signal and find a way to make more sophisticated messages. Jesus, look at all the water. Oh, it's empty though. Cans. Can't tell if Yuri's a- oh. Yuri, no. Yuri. Oh my good. Wait, hold on. We're on 8 of 16. Act 2. How many acts are there? Just three? Okay. I swear I saw a light at a distant island. I rubbed my eyes red trying to see clearly. I swear something was there. I tried to signal back, making reflections with a metal shard, but nothing happened. Maybe it was my imagination. Oh. What's going on? I don't know what's happening. Is this an earthquake? No, we're not on Earth. It has to be real. Keep seeing it. Light on the other island. But even if they or it saw my signal, they might not have understood or had any method of sending them back. Funny, this diary has truly become my confidant. Who'd have thought it? I don't know if that is confidant. I don't know what that word is. Need more parts to upgrade the transmitter, then I can tell them what happened. All the people who thought of us for 15 of their years, 8 of mine, but I can't work alone for much longer, becoming far too weak. I can't bend over or my stomach, the pain. Oh, what is that? A lighter. Oh, dude, I need a backpack. Wait, hold on, was I, what was I on? I see 11. Where's 12? In the 12th note. 15, 14. Assuming that's 13. Oh, uh, there's 12. Entered a cave to escape a storm, slipped and wrenched my leg between two rocks, broken. Managed to make it back to camp with great difficulty in two hours. This is the end. I was coming back after finding a drop pod intact. Is somebody in there? Is one of the team alive? Perhaps kept asleep by emergency life support and I never knew. Oh god. Harder and harder to stay awake. Wounds truly beginning to take their toll. Stomach infection especially. Only hope now is to keep writing and that someone will find this journal. Uh, hey, I did. Trying to prolong my life in ink. Thank god for impervious paper. One can't stop looking at one's wounds. Human condition, fascination with the morbid. But the smell is something no one could possibly ignore. I never knew an injury could produce such a stench. If only I had meds, perhaps if the person in the drop pod is alive. The line between reality and my imagination is becoming blurrier. I thought I had written more detailed entries about how I'm building the communication tower. Was that in my head? Did I lose those pages? Didn't someone on once say that imagination is a, is a survival mechanism? I don't know who said that, man. I know I didn't say that. Final no. Only fitting that a narcissist would die alone. Last, th last thoughts are with you. Sorry I left. What a waste. Fifteen years. The trauma of leaving. I regret it all. I regret not being able to spend my final moments with you. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. It's okay, man. I'm assuming that's a lakey bro, considering that one's stray. <laughs> that one's bended. Is that dynamite? Wait, what is that? Oh, it's a glow stick. A flashlight. Okay, I'm dropping the glow stick. Because it's not really that great. Taking the flashlight. Okay, I don't want to waste it. Um, we have two beacons. I don't think I need two of those. If I'm being honest. Why? Why do you hate people, Stark? What happened? What'd you do now?
Okay, so those are all empty. Oh, wait, no, I know what beacons are for. You, like, drop them on your way. So then you know. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Wait, you're banned from GTA until Monday or Xbox Live until Monday? Is it like what happened to me on The Division? With that one kid who was cheating? And he blamed me. And then I got banned. Okay, that's a sharp rock. We already have one of those. I want to take the lighter. What can I drop? Pretty sure it's Xbox Live. Well, I could sign in too when I was banned, Stark, but you just can't play anything on Xbox Live. Um, I don't know what to... I'll eat one of these. And then take the lighter. Um... Then he has a whole lot of water. So, I mean... know what I should take. Like, I want to take that torch just in case I lose this one, but it burns forever, so, like, there's not really a point in doing that. Um. Yeah, I don't know. What should I take? I could take the regular pipe over there. Actually, yeah, I want to do that. And how much water do we have? We have three things of water. I feel like we're good on that. I don't think we actually need water. They're so sensitive. Are you talking about like people on Xbox Live? That are sensitive? Because if so, I agree. There's so much food here. I think. Hold on, if I leave the beacon, do I see that? Like through walls and stuff? I think I do. Oh, wait, actually, let me sleep. So I get a saved point right here. I'd be smart. Hopefully, I don't die. Hopefully, the sleep doesn't get disturbed now. Okay. Sleep quality. Good. Have the sword. It's like a, a Minecraft sword, the way it swings. Look at that funny. Alright. Let's head on over this way. What's that? Light crystal. I wonder how far I can see the beacon from. Ooh. Nice. I still... Okay, so you do see the beacon. From far away. Oh yeah, Stark, you have this too. It'd be cool if they had co-op in this. That'd be fun. Yeah. The... 
The FOV was really bad at first start, but then you eventually get used to it. It took me like 15 minutes, and then I was fine with it. It's still really bad though, but like, you know, I'm used to it now. So it's like, whatever. Whoa, what did that... The elders speak of when the metal snakes were laying the, sil the silver tubes which pulse with energy and spread worms like veins. They twist away to our homes. What are these things? I don't know. Wait, what does the lighter do? Lights things. Okay. I mean, yeah. Obviously.